Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial and building our CMS. Uh, so let's get started with the Heroku command line interface. The previous tutorial we installed Git, which is a requirement of the Heroku command line interface. Basically what the Heroku command line interface will do is allow us to upload, um, manage, and do all different types of things with our project as it runs on um, the Heroku servers. All right. So this piece of software and the Git software is all required for us to make this um, project run smoothly. So before we get started, like the previous tutorial where I said, you know, a bunch of instructors probably had you install this prior, let's just make sure you don't have it on your computer. So to check if we have this on our computer, we can do Heroku dash dash version and hit return. And notice I got a bash Heroku command not found. Well, that's because I don't have it on this computer. So that means I have to install it. Now, if you got a version back, that probably means that you have installed it before. And all you really need to do is log into Heroku. Um, if you're already logged in, great. Move on to the next tutorial. All right. For you guys that do not have Heroku uh, command line interface software installed on your computer, let's go ahead and install it. All right. We're going to go to our trusty friend Google here, and we're just going to Google um, uh, Heroku hyphen CLI, all right? And we'll bring in this page right here, the first one that pops up. And notice that you got Heroku CLI for command line interface. And we're going to come down and install for your operating system, all right? Mac, Windows, Ubuntu. Uh, whatever you're using, choose the one you're using. So I'm going to hit download for Mac since that's what I'm using. If you're using Windows, choose the proper bit and we'll go ahead and open this up. Now, ours is going to look different if you're not on a Mac. So, all right, just follow along. Basically, we're not changing anything. All right, we're choosing um, the hard drive, continue, installation, install. Um, for me, I got to put in my password. And basically this is, we're just letting the software do its thing. All right. Once it's done writing the files and installing it, we'll go back and check to make sure it worked. If it did, we're going to go ahead, then log into our Heroku account via our command line and we should be good to go. All right. Back into our terminal. I'm going to go back in here and put the last command in Heroku dash version. And there we go. I got Heroku 7.165. Uh, all right. So there's the latest version. Um, now the next thing I need to do is log into my account. Now, if you don't have an account, then you're going to have to go back to the web and go to Heroku.com. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and click on sign up and you're going to go ahead and sign up for an account. Um, basically, Heroku is free. It's free for us to use for developers, all right, up to an extent. Um, you get so many hours of runtime with your application each month before they ask you to start making payments or they'll shut down your project. Don't worry about it. You guys will be fine for this project, and you guys will get it all figured out once your project gets really popular when you guys start paying for it, all right? So don't worry too much about that. So go ahead and sign up for your account. Once you are signed up, come back over to us and we're going to go ahead and log into Heroku. So we'll say Heroku login. All right. And it's going to ask us for some information. I'm going to put in my account. All right. And my password, which I just changed. So this might not work. So I remember. Oh, I did. All right. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. All we had to do is enter Heroku login is going to ask you for your email. You put in your email. It's going to ask you for your password. You put in the password that you just used to create your account. Boom. There you go. You logged in. Now we're good to move on to our next set of tutorials. Uh, so I'll see you then.